Hey Gizmos, welcome back to the channel to watch another anime reaction time. Today we're still watching One Punch Man. We're gonna still keep watching One Punch Man until we get to probably the second season too, so lots and lots of episodes. At least there's gonna be 24 videos as far as I know on One Punch Man. So <laughs> stay tuned for all those exciting videos and reactions and episodes. That, that was the word I was looking for. So. Bad news first is that they're still constructing beside us, so I don't know if they're building a house at this point, it might as well be. But, so if you hear something and there's a lot of noise, I'm sorry in advance for that, but I just really wanted to film this video, so sorry. Hopefully they finish in the next few days, but for now, we're going to have to stick with it. So, sorry for your troubles. <laughs> but, um, now we're going to watch episode 6, because last time we saw 5, obviously. We're going in chronological order. And so, last, last episode, they were... I thought maybe Genos and Saitama were going to separate. And I know I keep saying that, because it's kind of, I'm worried, because I don't want them to separate. I want them to still be a team, a unit, you know, because they're good together. And will you finally see the extent of Saitama's power? He's very, very powerful. And even compared to Genos, who's genetically modified, well, not really genetically, but he's enhanced to be almost half robot, then he's still, he's still not as strong as Saitama. So that's really amazing because Saitama's just a human. And well, we're going to continue seeing that. And I hope this episode lives up to its expectation, just like last time. I hope it gets really good. So, without further ado, without more rambling, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's begin. Since I debuted as a professional hero, there haven't been any serious incidents so far. However, in the midst of this new beginning, Genos ended up staying at my house. So, uh, what are you writing over there? I'm recording the details of your lessons and training regimen. <laughs> Crap. He's raising the bar again. I can't think of a single thing I could possibly teach this guy. Yes, and he's now writing everything he's doing, even with a book. Like, <laughs> Here, you're something. Ugh, straight Do training something. Is all I, I know Dennis won't be satisfied with that. Plus, the dude's a cyborg. By the way, huh? Earlier at the seminar, they said if you are a Class C hero and you have no activity for a week, your name will be removed from the hero registry. Will you be alright, Master? <gasps> Jeez, they really do put standards. But I was watching TV and there wasn't anything to act on. The news only reports major incidents, like natural disasters, terrorism, and dangerous monsters. So you were the small. most powerful enemies, so you were probably not aware of this. But Class C heroes mostly take care of purse snatchers, robberies, and random attacks. With Class C Saving the cats. <laughs> ...to survive, many get discouraged and change careers. Much in the same way a salesman makes cold calls, nothing will come your way without legwork. It's like freshman year at university, they try to weed you out, you know? <laughs> if I'm with a Class S hero like you, then I won't get any credit! But as your disciple... <sighs> Genos. From the very beginning, my intense desire to be a hero was what led me down the path of strength training. That's how I- Now I got his face changed. <laughs> Even his voice changed. Change if you aim higher as a hero, to be more than what you are now. Frankly speaking, you're a cyborg, so training your body would be useless. Instead, a change in mindset may lead you to greater strength. Damn, listen to me. I'm just making all this crap up. <laughs> yes, but he sounds so professional. <laughs> It's not about having raw power or technique. Not at all. It's about training your mind. You must first fight your way through the professional hero industry. Aim to break into the... Yeah, I've always wished they would also put the subtitles on reading or anything like signs and stuff. Because otherwise, I mean, I don't speak Japanese and I don't read it. So I have no idea where he got that idea from. So sometimes for us less cultured individuals, it sucks. <laughs> Because we can't After understand that, it. I sped around town Not all of it. While frantically looking for bad guys. I ran. And ran. And I ran. ran. But the city was completely Sorry. quiet. <laughs> I gave up. Just one more day left. Oh, yeah, it's five days. Yeah, so. A week. I'll leave tomorrow's problems to tomorrow's me. Okay, so now he's gonna have only one day 
He always looks so preen and pristine, but then he is always so... His face is always something completely different. That's why I love it. Sonic. Hold up! I've run into you before! What was your name again? Seed on the ground? No way. Lost and found? Jack-o'-lantern panic! No, it's Speed of Sound Sonic. What the... I finally found you. Speed of Sound Sonic. I'm busy. See you around, okay? Huh? That could have been his hero task, couldn't it? Think you can run from me? What the? He just bit through his sword. His face should have been sliced open. But the blade was. I'm busy. So anyone in my way gets punched. That's the guy. He's very, very dangerous. A public nuisance. Please stop him. Is that so? You're the offender, huh? Well, the Tank Top Tiger is here. Tank Top Tiger. <laughs> what is up with their names? I think you're some sort of criminal. Maybe getting tossed in a cell will cool off that hot head. She means you. Cue ball. What did he do? He's been running all around town with this scary look on his face since yesterday morning. Hey, wait a minute. I'm a hero too. You are. Okay, that's not a crime check. All these ladies. You're causing problems around here for everyone. If you're really a hero, then don't go around frightening people. You're hurting all the other heroes' reputations. Hey, isn't that tank top tiger over there? Can tank top tiger. What a name. <laughs> <laughs> Even Class C heroes get recognized. Well, if they're in the top ten, anyway. So, how about it, new guy? You want to fight? And make me look good in the process? Exploding shuriken! Oh. <laughs> I jumped on you! See, they're always so cocky. That is always what their demise is. That's why they always go down. So I tucked him in for a nap. Hey, call a hero! <laughs> now, quick! Run for it! Interesting, though. So now I can be his task, right? Then all I have to do is to create a situation where you're forced to fight. Tale of Carnage! Crazy legs. Why do people always leave their kids? Can't everybody just let me do my job? I don't have time for this crap. I gotta find a bad guy to take down. Hmm? A bad guy. Exactly. A bad guy to take down. Then I'll go to you. I'm right here. Oh my god! <laughs> just karate chopped him. <laughs> I wonder if taking out this guy will count as work. The man apprehended by the Class C hero the other day in so. City C is suspected of being involved in several heinous crimes, including assassination. Oh, they got him. You mean the one for the ghost town? Yes. Let me see. It appears an official inquiry has been submitted. Are those all villains or heroes? Want me to check it out? Tornado. She's in the now, intro. How did you get in here? Why? Aren't I allowed in here? Of course. For City Z, the investigation's a formality. It's not worth your time. What? You mean you don't think I'm good enough? Well, I say pride is one of her. The association decided this was not a class S matter. That's all. Yes, exactly right. Oh. Hmm. She's like telepathic, like she can lift things with her mind. If you find anything that looks like it can fight, it'd be much faster if I went myself. You guys are idiots. Well, she is very cocky. What I was saying was pride is gonna be like it's not her strong suit. Obviously, she's too prideful. And that's what hurts her the most, even though she doesn't realize it. 
Oh, what is that thing? First is Watchdog Man, Class S hero, investigating City Q. Nothing unusual. Watchdog Nothing man. unusual? Yes, sir. That's hard to believe. We all know City Q is a hot zone with more casualties and monsters than any other area under our jurisdiction. Well, sir, knowing him, I'm confident he believes that whatever may occur, he'll be able to take care of- Watchdog Man has the same expression that Saitama has. His track record at monster elimination is top notch. There's really no need to worry. Mm -hmm. Class S heroes don't pay attention to details, they're not- He's got a huge, um, he's like a stuffed animal <laughs> on the inside of the stuffed animal. In City H, Mushroom Class B and Horsebone There's Class even a horse report, guy. Nothing unusual. In City D, Lightning Genji All of these Class heroes reports, look very strange. Sometimes their costumes are very weird. Creature aside, nothing unusual. Cities B and D both sustained extensive damage. The association took a lot of heat for that. In order to prevent more disasters from Titan occurring, guy. you must be diligent. <laughs> Who killed his brother? <laughs> oh, sorry, that's not supposed to be funny, but they made it so funny. <laughs> Protecting these monsters is more difficult than expected. City F, Class A hero Snakebite Snack reports Hammerhead, Snake former leader of the Snack? Paradise or Terrorist Group, has been spotted dude? in a suit and tie. Really Further investigation is being conducted. Oh, see, that's the guy I was saying who looked like one of the characters from Dragon Ball Z. rumblings of a potential disaster brewing somewhere in the abandoned area. No reports available. However, two highly capable Class A heroes have been sent to investigate, so we should get to the bottom of these rumors soon. Are you ready to begin our little inquiry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get on with it and get out of here. Were these heroes? I remember seeing him. The one with the mustache. Compared but... with other areas. City Z has an abnormally high. Oh, yes, they are heroes. They're the ones sent incidents. to investigate that. The frequency okay. has been increasing over the past 10 years. Because that city's got a lot of more, more monsters. Advanced okay. monsters appearing, that makes sense. And the residents have fled for the safety of the city center. Yeah, that city's in ruins almost. Water and electricity are still intact, right? Indeed. Looking for a cheap house? Come off it. <laughs> People say something real nasty's living around here. Even you must have heard about it. But of course. I assume that's why the two of us have been assigned to this investigation. Once we hit the abandoned area, we need to walk in with our game faces on. I wonder what's been festing inside their streets. I mean, something's been drawing the monsters towards them, right? A colony of monsters resides here and is naturally producing more of them. Or perhaps a mm. queen exists, birthing more of her kind. Or rather, something in it. Of that, you can be sure. The proximity alarm. What tripped it? If we can hunt down this mysterious being, we'll go to the top of the rankings, no doubt. True. We can't let- That's where Saitama lives. Okay, that's the city. Something's oh, there. it's that thing. Is that a monster? The thing There's with the no eye. Sure, but it's rather hard it looks to crazy. I don't know if it's a woman or a man, but still Let's looks crazy either it. way. <laughs> It seems they're oh, not after us. <laughs> what is he wearing? What? <laughs> Heard about? I don't know. Sure don't seem like it. Oh man, I came all this way for nothing. Isn't anyone around? A monster. It came out the of the eye is just on itself. That's freaky. <laughs> just chomp <laughs> through his. Hey, people. I can blast Lollipop. through a 20 millimeter steel plate with one of my shape memory golden bullets. Suck on this! Oh, that's what he was. Oh, okay, it wasn't a lollipop, it was a bullet. Oh, full on weapon. He just flicked it away. It's like seaweed or algae that it, they're using for hair. But either way, it looks crazy. It's like a sea creature. Golden ball. Uh, gonna kill him. What is his super part? Being a waiter, <laughs> giving effective service, bringing the check on time. <laughs> Sorry, no, it's sword fighting. It's fencing. <laughs> Hmm. Wow. Yeah, 
he's pretty amazing. And his sword curves. Tom Roy. Oh, imagine that going in. And, oh no, that would make a lot more damage. It slipped past my tomboy attack. It's a huge sword. It's like a slinky. Back. Those tentacles, from the way they react, they're tough as steel. A monster that can use its infinite number of tentacles like steel whips. Such power. Yeah. Even knock down the other hero. I would like to ask you a question, if I may. I was just wondering if you were born in this neighborhood. I heard a bunch of crazy strong monsters were all getting together around here. Looks like it turned out to be just a rumor. But now... <laughs> I feel like oh. it'd be kind of fun to stick around and make the rumor true. A self-fulfilling prophecy. I could be the ghost town monster. It's got a nice ring to it. Oh, why is one eye bigger? <laughs> well, one pupil. Take it back. Just with the one eye was better. A lot better than his actual face. The spring mustachio is in trouble. They're in the abandoned city. Spring mustachio. Call all nearby heroes for immediate assistance. <laughs> Class A and above. See the monster alert for City Z? The threat level seems to be tiger or higher. Is it the ghost town monster? They're not sure <clears throat> yet. I'll go. I want to catch the tiger by its tail. These heroes, man, the way they look is crazy. Oh man. I lost his sword. I was rooting for him. Now I understand. If it means running into monsters like this all the time, I wouldn't want to live around here either. I uh, killed him. She, he, they, it. Honestly, <laughs> I finally kick a hero's butt, and I don't even get a single scream. Now that I think about it, even if I start living here, I'll never be famous if there's no people around. Guess I'll just keep going. Gotta find out where they're living. Somebody, is it another hero? Hmm, or just a dude? Is it Sa <laughs> Saitama with his keel? <laughs> Did exist. There's no way he could live here. I guess that means it was just a rumor. Crap. Oh, it's gonna get good. <gasps> Master, I saw a lot of Konbu right outside the door. Oh, yeah. Funny Did story. He? I, uh, just happened to catch it for a really good price. Did he cook it? Konbu is good for growing hair, but there is no sign oh to be God. proof, so its root <laughs> benefits have yet to be confirmed. I did some research, so I am sure, Master. For example, according to this site... No one said anything about hair! He did grow his hair back. <laughs> They had to report that, right? Someone had to, because that was a big threat, that girl, oh guy, thing, that thing, let's just leave it at thing. Fortunately, we escaped death, but the monster we encountered there disappeared, yeah. it's possible that it still roams the area. No, it didn't disappear, how come they never get it right? Monsters have gathered in secret and already exist in this area. That's okay, rough. Well that, yes. It sounds like it was a pretty brutal encounter. A monster, huh? It, yes. I think I'll pass this time. You see? Told you I should have gone. You're so lame! Uh, I'm sorry, but when faced with something like this, I'm sure even you would have had a tough time. It's unprecedented. Hmm. She can move things with her mind, right? You <clears throat> idiot. That's why I she floats. Just fine. The rumor has not been... She's very vain, too. Like, she's very full of herself. Some horrible monstrosity. Holy crap, what happened out here? What kind of monster could cause such violence? I'd hate to face off against whatever this crazy thing is. Hmm, what's mm -hmm. this? Well, is it a they already got there too late. <laughs> May have been a territorial dispute between the monsters. But either way, seems like there's definitely... Jesus, yes, I didn't realize the whole building, the whole damage she had done, or it had done, the thing. Violence over City Z. Hey, did you hear the news? There are monsters living in the City Z ghost town. Yeah, 
I heard someone say the toughest ones are secretly plotting something. No, the rumors. It's about a more dangerous monster. Oh my god. <laughs> Even the monsters are spreading the rumors and gossiping. Terrifying for both humans and monsters. That is a scary situation. But nothing safe done. Generals can't do. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, that one was very fast, too. Not a lot of things happened, but it was still pretty funny. And he's still, well, now, they gave us a bit of an insight as to what is going to happen, what they think is going to happen with more monsters congregating in those areas and them being forced to evacuate all the people because that's why it's a ghost town now. So hmm, maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there is something more sinister in the grounds of that city. Because why is it just that city? You know what I mean? Because monsters attack everywhere, but that city just, they said that the frequency had of the attacks had gone up. So what was the reason for that? What is attracting the monsters there? Hmm. Interesting conspiracy theories, I see. <laughs> Hopefully they'll solve them soon. Well, I think they will. I think maybe that's what they're getting at now. Because this was episode 6, so now we're at halfway. Oh, congratulations, we made it halfway to the of the season. <laughs> well, tell me in the comments if you liked it and what you think about the conspiracy theories. What is the reason why? I mean, no spoilers, but tell me if it does amount to something and what are the reasons for it happening and if the i mean even the monsters are gossiping so i wonder what that dangerous rumor is <laughs> well don't forget to like it and subscribe and i guess we'll see you next time gizmos have a great day thank you bye